Hello guys, this week on this channel we're looking at various features of Laravel Pulse in terms of code. It's open source so we can learn a lot from the code from Laravel core team. And topic of today is this line. I'm not sure if everyone is aware of that syntax of returning arrays and putting them into variables. It's a PHP tip actually, but we will look at Laravel example. So we have a PHP function, this remember, which actually, by the way, is another tip. This remember comes from a trait inside of the main class. So there's a class cache and there's remembers queries trait, which is this, which has remember function C here. But did you know that if you have a trait that is inside of the same folder in a subfolder like concerns, see live wire concerns remembers queries, you don't have to put it on top here. It's not in the use section at all. It just is used inside just with providing subfolder namespace. So this is a side tip about traits. Now what that method does doesn't really matter that much. What matters is what does it return? So as you can see, there are three values returned in the form of array, but it's not a key value array It's just three values. And whoever is using that trait because it can be reused in multiple classes assigns their own keys however they want. And this is an example of using that function. And here we have also three variables. So it's not one variable of, for example, cache array or something like that. It's specifically three variables. Why? It may be useful when those three variables will be used in the same method below as separate variables, not in array. And this is exactly what is happening here. Actually, the same example below with different variable names. That's what makes it reusable. So you assign one set of keys here, then another set of keys for different values here. And then at the end, you have six variables, three variables here and three variables here and use them as variables outside of those arrays. Probably it could be refactored to not use separate variables, some kind of constructing array here and then adding that array, merging that array with this one. But I like this solution a lot because of clarity of the key names. So all time, all run at, those variable names mean exactly what they are supposed to do, which means clarity for reading the code for everyone who will read that code and maintain it in the future. So yeah, a quick tip of returning array and using array as variables. Have you used something like that in your projects? What was the use case? Share in the comments below. And tomorrow we will continue browsing Laravel Pulse source code with different gems from Laravel core team that we can learn from. So subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.